I am Tej Sandu. I am the president and co-founder of Merit Brewing here in downtown Hamilton. I'm also a graduate of the Dickert School of Business uh, from the class of 2009. Uh, Merit Brewing is a brewery, restaurant, and bottle shop uh, located in the heart of downtown Hamilton on James Street North. Uh, 107 James Street. Uh, we are uh, a brewery driven by a sense of community and a you know purpose to really enrich uh, the city that we you know call home, uh, and you know provide people with you know the hospitality and the you know welcome environment that we really uh, enjoy ourselves around what we create. Uh, so I actually started my first business when I was 16 years old. Uh, I took a skill set that I had, uh, which was in producing music, uh, and turned that into a business representing other producers. I actually ran that business uh, while I was uh, a student at DeGroot. Uh, you know, learned a lot about uh, starting a business through that process. Uh, and upon graduating uh, from DeGroot, uh, I worked as an agent, I worked as a consultant, uh, and eventually, you know, got back to my entrepreneurial roots. Being an entrepreneur is something that I've always uh, known I wanted to uh, to do. Uh, my uh, grandparents really entrenched the idea of being an entrepreneur within our family uh, as they ran their uh, business called Merit Furniture uh, until they were age of 97 uh, and really established what uh, running a business with purpose uh, looked like. I think the opportunity to, you know, do a lot. Um, you know, my my brain, you know, thrives and and really functions off of diversity in in in, in my work. Um, I really enjoy the opportunity to uh, work with team members from across our business. You know, I work directly with our brewing team. I work uh, directly with the kitchen team. I work directly with you know the marketing team and the service team. Uh, it's uh, you know a, a huge responsibility to you know be guiding a ship with with you know, with so many folks in it. Um, but it's, it's really enjoyable to be able to, um, you know, have, have the ability to take several components uh, of a business and, you know, bring them together, uh, have them navigate the situations and challenges that we find ourselves in, uh, all working towards, you know, the common goal of what we see as our, uh, as our responsibility and as our goal as a, as a business as a whole. Being able to bring people together, uh, you know, as a, as a team uh, to accomplish that goal is, uh, is really exciting and, and something that I, you know, really relish uh, the challenge of. Well, the easy answer is, you know, that we're still, you know, navigating the the impact of COVID. Uh, and for us being in the hospitality uh, industry specifically uh, has, you know, we've had no shortage of, uh, of challenges. And, you know, that's also led to us, you know, having no shortage of opportunity to be creative. Um, nonetheless, it's a challenge. And, you know, that's been something that we've really tried to keep a positive mindset around. But, um, you know, our business model has changed completely over the last year and a half. We went from being a place where we, you know, hosted, you know, 99% of our, our, our guests within our space, as opposed to sending beer outside of our space. But um, that hasn't been possible. And that's, you know, that's okay. At first, it's, you know, seems daunting and it seems like a big challenge, but it's given us the opportunity to um, expand, uh, look at other ways that we can get people beer uh, at distribution to, you know, what, what Merit does and how uh, that is part of our business. Um, that will continue to be an ongoing thing as we, again, kind of navigate what the tail end of this uh, looks like as well. So from the beginning, Merit uh, has very purposely been been driven by you know our identity in Hamilton. Uh, so we are we're going to continue to grow that. You know our our priority is to grow within Hamilton, is to be a place that is synonymous with uh, people living in the city or visiting the city. We really want you know Merit to be a destination and a, and a, and a place that people identify as you know part of the fabric of, of the city. Uh, we're lucky to be downtown, you know, where where a lot of people are traveling to, to you know for entertainment for you know and, and outing anyways. Uh, but we're going to continue to grow that. You know, we have some we have some exciting things coming up with regards to you know physical space expansion, um, you know, but also the you know the way that we uh, interact with our guests um, outside of those cities to to you know bring bring people back to Hamilton you know even though we're sending some beer outside of uh, Hamilton now say to you know to Toronto or the Niagara region or KW we what we really want is to to, to pull people back uh, to Hamilton and give them a reason to come explore the city uh, and if they spend some of that time at Merritt um, that's great uh, but we also want them to explore the rest of what the city has to offer uh, every day is different there's no doubt about that 
Uh, there is a routine within a week. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot that kind of has to happen at certain points throughout the week. But um, a lot of the time I'm, you know, starting my day by, by assessing out the challenges and opportunities that our, our, our teams are having across the business. Uh, it's, it's making sure that they're well equipped to, you know, tackle the week ahead or the month ahead. If there's any, you know, anything new, you know, that has surprised us, you know, whether it's a beer selling too fast or beer selling too slow or, a, you know, a, a, a product launch of any kind, you know, being, uh, kind of different than what we forecasted that, you know, having a conversation around that and, and looking at, again, the opportunities and the challenges that um, that each of our, 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 our teams are facing is, uh, is is how every day starts. Uh, and then from there, it's it's tackling those challenges with those teammates, providing, you know, providing guidance, providing, you know, strategy and, you know, speaking through again, kind of how we how we navigate through whatever the you know opportunity or challenges that is in front of us to connect to the, the ultimate goal of, you know, continuing to drive our business forward. Um, past that, one of the things that I love about being an entrepreneur is that every day is different. You know, some days I'm, you know, out in the community a little bit more, you know, forging relationships to, you know, kind of bring merit out into the world a little bit more. We don't, you know, always sit behind a desk. We, we love being in front of people. We love, you know, creating relationships in our community. Um, but some days it's, uh, you know, it's it's just behind a computer and, you know, working working with a lot of numbers to figure out, you know, what our forecasting looks like to, uh, to make sure that we can keep the engine running uh, as well in terms of production and, and making sure that we, you know, the team is well set up to be able to do their jobs most as well. I think the biggest achievement is how much we've learned as a team over the, the past four and a half years. Um, you know, we we are a group of young, ambitious friends. And while all of us have experience in each of the areas that we specialize in on a day-to-day -day basis, what we're creating at Merit uh, as a whole, it, you know, is much bigger and, and much different than what any of us has worked on individually. Uh, so, you know, taking the steps that we've, you know, been, been able to over the last four and a half years to um, build a business that can last forever is an ongoing process, but it's something we've taken a lot of, you know, big steps in over the last four and a half years. We've, we've, we've learned a lot about ourselves. We've learned a lot about our, our business, learned a lot about how we contribute to our business on a day-to-day -day basis. We've learned how to say no. Uh, we've learned how to not tackle everything ourselves. We've learned a lot about, you know, building a team and building a culture and building, you know, the overall infrastructure of, uh, of this business. Uh, to be sustainable and to be something that you know can really uh, be everything that we want it to be at the end of the day. I'd say that you really have to to focus on why uh, you want to start a business. Um, you know, of course, you know, looking at why whatever product or service um, you're hoping to offer uh, is you know is going to be successful is going to be something that someone wants. But but also the internal why. You know, being an entrepreneur um, is is a big risk. It's uh, you know there's, there's a lot more to it than uh, than a TV show or a, a, a movie might make out. Um, it takes it takes sacrifice. It takes, you know, a dedication that, you know, is is indescribable. It, you know, it takes an unwavering amount of courage and, and vision towards the goal that you set out for yourself. And I think if that goal is rooted in, you know, in, 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 in a purpose, uh, again, for yourself and for your customers, then it, it's a lot easier to get through, you know, a lot of the a lot of the challenges that exist, um, specifically in that first year, um, because that, that first year offers a lot of opportunity for for you to back out uh, as an entrepreneur and for you to say, you know what, this isn't worth it or, or this isn't working. Um, being rooted in, you know, something that, again, continues to motivate you to drive forward uh, means that you can get past that, means that, you know, uh, you're able to, you know, constantly be looking forward, you know, while being able to still execute what you need to, you know, day to day, of course, as well. But um, that's, uh, that's it's certainly been helpful for us, um, again, at, at the highest of highs and lowest of lows, being able to, to drive forward with our vision and, and, and our goals for, for what we want this to be is uh, is massive and uh, something that you know didn't necessarily exist for me in, in other businesses before, but now that it does, it, it feels you know incredibly different. I think the overall you know community and connection of of, of students is something that's in, incredibly special. Um, you know the relationships that you forge on a day-to-day -day basis um, or, or even once or twice, you know, um, really, really stay with you. Um, you know, I've, I've run into, you know, fellow alumni that, um, again, were, you know, not necessarily close friends in, in, in school, but uh, that, you know, you had 
some point for, for, for one of you or both of you, um, you know, you made an impact on that person or you, you know, made enough of an impression that they're you know, still a memorable face or a memorable name. And uh, being able to reconnect is, has been really cool. And, you know, something that um, I was a little bit surprised at, you know, I knew I'd, you know, hopefully keep my close friends from, from the group or, and, and from the university in general, you know, for a long time, but being able to reconnect with folks that, um, you know, maybe to share the class with uh, or, 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 or a couple of classes with, um, being able to reconnect with them now um, has been really special, and being being able to you know reconnect with the university in general, I you know see it as a, a huge honor and a, and a massive privilege to be able to continue to be involved involved with the school uh, in in any way possible.